Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Here we go. Welcome to Pig Labs and that's pig with three eyes. Can you see that? It's a very clever pig because it's got three eyes. We've looked at Pig Labs before but it has an in, had an enormous update since then. So we're going to go and see how much more awesome it is since its update. Now initially when you open this up the first one is unlocked but all the rest of them are locked and you have to go through one at a time to unlock them which is excellent because it means you do them sequentially. However, I've already played them all so they're all unlocked and I'm going to go to some of the new ones and give you a look at what they look like. Now here we have got a very interesting looking plant. And first up we need a plant pot. Yep. And we need some soil. Mm -hmm. And we do. And then we need a heat lamp and Watering some water. Hand. And see this little green bar up here? We need to make sure that this little seedling oops, oops, more heat, heat lamp. gets everything it needs. More water. That's it. Oops, stop drooping, you silly heat lamp. There we go. Oops, oops, back, back. More water, more water, more water, quick. Yay! And there we go, it's come to fruition. Now this is a Venus flytrap, which means it eats flies. Let's drag them in. And now we don't just need to feed this as many flies as we possibly can. We also whoop, need to keep up the water and the heat to make sure that the poor little thing, poor little thing, it's eating all the flies, <laughs> doesn't start <laughs> to feel a bit ill from all the flies it's eating. Alright, we can go, we've made 10, we could go to 30, we could go to 50, but I think my finger's going to start getting tired of throwing flies around the screen. So let's press the home button and let's have a look at the next new one because this is pretty cool. Solar system. The solar system. Now I haven't shown you before, down here is a little, a little light bulb and it's got a question mark on it and if you tap that it will give you some information. The sun is not a planet. It is a star. The sun is much bigger than all the planets combined. 590 times, in fact. Earth is the only planet with living things like plants and animals. The other planets are too hot, too cold, or too dry. Too hot, too cold, or too dry. If you could drive to Mars in a car, it would take at least 75 years to get there. Holy moly. The inner planets are made up of rock and dust. The outer planets are mostly made of gases. Jupiter has 63 moons. 63? That's more than any other planet in the solar system. It's ridiculous. What does it do with them all? The sun is not And then a we've planet. gone back to the beginning. So each little light bulb has got some information. But let's put this solar system model together. Space. Now we need some planets. Sun. The sun's easy enough. But the rest all look like the same size down here. But the minute you pull them onto the screen, Saturn. they change size. So you Venus. have to find where they belong. Neptune. Neptune's over here somewhere. Oops, wrong one. Neptune. Mars. That's a weenie one. Where do you belong, Mars? Jupiter. Mercury. Uranus. Earth. There we go. Now we get to play a bit of a game. So we have to send the rocket on its mission to, oh, I wasn't paying attention, oh, to Neptune. There we go. So where's Neptune? Where are you, Neptune? Are you hiding behind the sun? Where are you? Are you this blue one over here? Let's see. Let's send the rocket. It's going to crash into the wrong one first. Oh, we completely missed him anyway because the trajectory was too far away. <laughs> wrong one. Where is Mer Where is Neptune? I can't even say it at the moment. Neptune. Oh, Neptune. You're blue and watery. Why can't I see you? Am I just, am I going insane? <laughs> there you are. Oh, you're a very slow one out there, aren't you? Yay! Complete. And we can, okay, Uranus, let's see if we can get to this one before without running into Earth first. Oh, we hit Earth. Okay, let's try again. It's a long way away. Do you think we're going to make it? Moving pretty slowly, so we made it. And let's do one more. Jupiter. Jupiter's pretty big. Surely I can get Jupiter the first time through. Here we go. 
and <laughs> and I crashed into the sun, as you do. Now we've got to get all these other little planets out of the way. Move out of the way. Okay, now we should have a clear run to Jupiter. <laughs> okay, so you can see we need to go through all of them, but I've already unlocked them, so I don't need to play all of them. I want to show you the next awesome experiment. So here we go. Microscope. Microscope. Let's put it together. Face. Stage. Arm. Lens. Knob. Eyepiece. All right, let's put together. Let's look at these things. What would you like to look at? How about the fly? And we turn the knob. It's getting into focus, and when it's in focus, it goes snap. Takes a picture for you to add to your photo album of the highly magnified fly. What else would you like to see? How about soy sauce is interesting. This is a weird one. Look, look at the crystalline structures in that. Isn't that fascinating? There we go, soy sauce. What else? What else? What else? Strawberry is pretty cool. Let's have a look. They're all pretty cool. What am I saying? Look at the seeds. Look at what they look like when they're so big. And there are even little brown hairs on a strawberry. Look at that. And one more. How about the worm? The worm. Squelchy, welchy worm. That's what an earthworm looks like. All magnified up. There you go, squelchy, welchy worm. Okay. So we've got one more here on the end. Air rocket. Let's have a little look at our at our uh, at our ideas thing here. Rockets Rocket. were invented by the Chinese in the first century BC. Mm -hmm. Rockets can produce enough thrust to reach a speed of over thirty-five thousand kilometers per hour. Oh, that's very interesting, robot lady. Tell me some when more. When the air inside the air rocket escapes through a small opening, it creates a force or thrust in the opposite direction. So that's what we're doing with this, and we're using water Bottle. as pump as the fuel. Tube. Now we need a nose piece. Rocket head. Oh, rocket head. Fin. And some fins. Fin. Are we ready? Okay, ready? Pump, pump, pump. Pump, pump, pump. Enough air in and blast off. Let's see how high we can get it to go. We'll collect some stars on the way. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, he's not going very far. Look, the water's running out. Oh, we've reached 150 meters. Let's keep going. We are almost out of water and we've just hit over 300 meters. How did we go? We got 324 meters, which is higher than the 358 meters, which is higher than the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that fantastic? So there are plenty of fun experiments and interesting science facts to learn in here in Pig with Three Eyes, Pig Labs. So go and have a look. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.